Fall is very quickly arriving and I'm already seeing it peek through with all of the shorter days, the crisp and chilly mornings, and just my little cravings for a cozier and slower lifestyle after the summer busyness. I know I've mentioned this before, but fall really isn't exactly my favorite season, and I think that's because I sometimes only see it as the quick transition from the warm and exciting summer to the long, cold and dreary winter months, but I'm starting to see that with that perspective, I miss so much of the beauty of the season. So I want to share a few things that I'm looking forward to at this upcoming season just to get us kind of excited. I'm really looking forward to hot tea, warm drinks, and cozy sweaters and just layering and bringing in more neutral colors into my wardrobe, reading books under a blanket, all things pumpkin flavored warm soups and all of the colorful leaves changing fall truly is one of the most beautiful seasons and altogether just the slower living that comes in these colder months God is the creator of all four seasons, and I think it's because we were meant for the seasonal living. So with the beginning of fall, I want this to be a time of kind of a fresh start and focusing on new goals and just getting inspired. So this is my little start to getting into that cozy fall spirit. It is a chilly morning this morning, which just fits the mood for today and this video as we just kind of welcome fall. I am really excited about today. I am wanting to just start transitioning a little bit and hopefully maybe decorate my house a little bit, do a little bit of fall cooking and baking and just kind of getting into that cozy feel of autumn. The first thing that I want to do this morning is just do a little bit of fall shopping and maybe see if I can find a few things to use to decorate my home and just pull a little bit of that fall feeling inside. Now I want to say I really never want to condone like a lot of consumerism or just that feeling to need to buy a whole bunch of things for every season or totally redo your house. I really want to keep it very minimal. I want to browse some shops. I really don't know if I'm gonna get anything or definitely not very much because I don't feel the need to spend a bunch of money and I also like to keep my decor still very minimal and just cozy and you know not a super cluttered feel so I do want to put that out there. I still think it's really fun to shop around and even just browse and look. It kind of gets you inspired. I'm also going to head over to my parents house. They live on like a flower farm and they grow a lot of things so I want to see if my mom has any like little things around that I could also use used to just kind of cozy up our home. I also want to make some apple dumplings later, make a cozy fall dinner tonight, so I'm very excited about today's video. So I'm going to head out and let's do a little shopping. Okay, I am just now leaving my parents' house and it is 1.45, almost two o'clock. I stayed way too long just chatting with my mom and I ended up like eating lunch there and everything. We still have several stores to hit, so I'm gonna see how much time I have. I think I might head to Goodwill, I think, first because I wanna try to do a little thrifting. I don't know if I'll find anything there, you know. Thrift stores are kinda hit or miss, but I haven't been thrifting in a while, so I thought it'd be fun to stop there. And then I think I'm going to go to Target 
and maybe Marshalls, depending on how much time I have, which isn't much left. So let's go. ready to do a little haul and show you guys everything that I got so like I said I started by going to my parents and I got a few little dried bunches first I have this which is like really pretty it's a mix of like sorghum and a little bit of eucalyptus and hydrangeas some dried hydrangeas in here it's like a little fall arrangement I might have to take it apart a little bit because I'm not sure if it's going to fit inside the little vessel that I had in mind, but it's a really cute little fall arrangement. And then I also got these little grasses. I don't remember what they're called, but they're just cute little grasses that I'm gonna put into a vase or something. Not completely sure, but I thought they were really fun and they're going to dry really nicely. Then I went to Goodwill. Let me go grab those things. So I got just a couple of things at Goodwill. First, I got this little book, which is like the new world. Just a little like history book that I think would be cute as decor. Obviously could fit for any season, but kind of had the fall colors and I don't know it kind of reminded me of like Thanksgiving which fits the vibes and I also got this cute little pitcher here which I could also put some stems or just leave it as is then I went to Target I have not been to Target in a little bit let me just say I was so naive walking in there I literally was sick to my stomach because there was just too much there was like too much cuteness everywhere i just saw so many things that i wanted and i had i, I could have completely redid my house i forgot how hard it is to not spend all of my money but we had some self-control i just picked out a few things i even had more things that i checked out and then i asked the lady to take them off because i was like what am i doing like i said before it's kind of hard for me to spend a lot of money on like decor that's just seasonal. I had some pumpkins and things and I was like, I could get some like real pumpkins that are a little bit cheaper and they'll just last me through the season. I know that I can reuse these. I just, I just didn't feel good about spending that much money on seasonal decor, but that's just me. So I'll show you the things that I did get. I did get this cute little pumpkin candle. It smells so good. The scent is dried leaves and hickory and it's like the woodwick so it kind of crackles when you burn it i'm really excited to just have this for a little fall scent around candles are my absolute favorite thing in the colder months and then i was hoping to find some pillows and i saw some really cute like pumpkin and fall pillows but i knew that i needed pillows already and i probably shouldn't spend my money on some pillows that are only gonna work like a few months out of the year so I got some that fit for fall but also other seasons too so I got this green one which is kind of like this plaid textured pillow super cute and also this floral one which I'm in love with I think it's so fun and these are going to pair really nicely together our couch is like all cream and I basically I have a couple pillows that I already had but it's basically just the pillows that it came with and it needs to be spruced up a little bit. Then I had to run to the grocery really quick to grab some things I forgot to get at Target. And then I saw these mums. So I decided to grab one just to set by my door to 
add a little bit of fall color and that's about it not much i have like a couple of things that like I already had so I'm gonna kind of spread everything out and see what I'm working with and then we can kind of do a little bit of decorating all right here is my little fall spread that I have right now not very many things but I had this like little art book that I bought from an Instagram thrift shop that I've been wanting to put out has some super pretty art pieces in it and I bought this from a small business. I will try to remember to link them, but she had these like really cute beeswax candles that she put in like thrifted vessels, which I thought was such a cute idea. And it's another Woodwick one, which I love. And then a little white pumpkin that I got as a gift when we got our house. So just a few things and I might also find some things from around the house, but let's get to decorating a little bit. Okay, right here is kind of where I wanted to put that little bunch, but it doesn't look like it's gonna fit very much. So I'm trying to decide if I want to like add this to it. Could be cute or break that bunch apart. What do we think? Okay, so now I have to decide where to put this bunch. I'm like, I could maybe fit it in here. I kind of wanted to switch this out even though I just bought it and I love that like fake olive, but we could add something a little bit more like dried and fallish. But this is like a lot. <laughs> Okay, I think this is super fun. It just looks like this free spirited like fall arrangement. I really like the way that that looks. I'm wondering if I can put those over in my arrangement beside the door. Just add a little more color to that one. we have just a few little pieces out I pretty much only did the living area I might do more later I'm not sure but it was super fun just to do a little bit to kind of get me in that fall mood there is just something about changing up your decor for the season that it just makes you kind of fall in love with your home again makes you feel inspired and refreshed I'm just really loving it and I feel like I got to be a little bit creative and arrange things around and it's super fun like I've said I don't think that you need to spend a lot of money. I did spend a little bit of money today, but really not much. I did have some gift cards and everything, but I feel like I was able to be very minimal, but still kind of create a fallish space. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started on making dinner. I am really excited because one thing I've been looking forward to is soup season. I probably haven't made soup since like winter or spring and one thing that i've been kind of craving is white chicken chili so that's what we're gonna make tonight i'm really excited to just have a cozy dinner and i was gonna make apple dumplings before this but my day has completely gotten away from me just completely so i think i'm gonna do that after supper and we'll just have it as like a late dessert so let's go ahead and get started on making a little cozy dinner
Now we are moving on to the apple dumplings. I had made a little transition video, but the audio on it was absolutely terrible. You couldn't even hear what I was saying, so I just figured I'd come on here and do a little voiceover. The white chicken chili that we had for dinner was absolutely amazing. I couldn't find the recipe that I used last winter, so I decided to just try a new one, and I think this is my favorite ever. Keegan was like raving about it, so I'm definitely gonna save this one. I'll put it in the description if you want the recipe. I definitely would recommend. But now on to the apple dumplings. See if I can make the next one a little bit, a little bit better. This is gonna be probably a little bit more of like an apple crisp. <laughs> fold, 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 fold and pinch. So close. So close, okay, this is better. <laughs> Let's see it. It at least kind of looks like an apple dumpling. Looks great. We're Professional. All different. Huh? They're like completely different colors. They're sisters, not twins. Now, we just pour this on over. I'm not going to use all of this because this looks like... I would hope not. <laughs> this looks like a lot. Of apple dumpling soup. I'll probably make another batch of this another time 
this week. It smells amazing. And now we pop it in the oven for like 30 minutes. Catch you guys then. My apple dumpling pretty much completely fell apart, but it's okay. I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. I want to just kind of wind the night down and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this cozy fall day as we get into the season. I'm excited to make some more fall content coming your way. So if you're not already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and put a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!